Hey guys, welcome back. You're with Juzzy Evo X, and today we're doing part two of the video test showing the accuracy of Advanced DX in comparison to the Dodson heated sump. So, if you remember from my first video, I was just sort of sitting in my garage at home. I'd done a cold start and um, I had not. Um, had a chance to drive so with coronavirus epidemic going on the health crisis I've um, been working from home and so here I am on a Wednesday I had to go down to uh, go and get some groceries and get some uh, something for my son and so here we are so uh, this morning I had an issue with um, the EX gauge actually displaying any data and um, did some quick research and found that um, for some reason the gauge just seems to drop out or lose connection you've got to actually add the predefined set in PID so let's see how it goes right at the moment connected got revs go to real time and there you go so as I said, I've just driven down to the shop um, at the moment. Um, the Dodson base temp reader is reading 47. This one's reading 54. So, um, at the moment, as you can see, I've been running for 1 minute and 15 seconds. That's just me talking now and starting the car up. Um, some strange behaviour uh, just occurred uh, before I ducked into the shops and I noted that... Um, the, um, if you have a look at my Instagram post, it'll show uh, some technical information uh, bulletins. Um, I've posted three uh, yesterday, I think it was the 21st of April 2020, and that shows the sensors that the um, SST transmission relies upon, both temperature, speed, and others, but there's two for temperature. So one of those temperature ones is a hybrid ambient uh, temperature sensor so that basically says that it reads whatever the temperature is outside in the environment and uh, it then has another temperature sensor which is measuring the temperature on the box itself both of these sensors are actually located on the transmission control module that's con that's located towards the top of the box and uh, which is where um, uh, most of the sensors are for the box as well. So I turned the car off and there uh, was, after five minutes, no movement of the EX gauge at all in comparison to um, the Dodson heated sump. But uh, anyway, let's have a look at what it shows after a few minutes and I'll record again. So we're at two minutes, sorry, three minutes runtime now at 55 and that one is now going up so it's now at 62 all right guys so at the moment we're now at six minutes the advanced DX is reading 60 degrees and the Dodson heated sump is reading 73 seven minutes 30 seconds EX is at 62 Dodson is at 74 Okay guys, we're at 10 minutes now. It's reading 65. It's been reading 65 for a little while now. Dodson heated sump is at 76. So 76 is not going higher than that. I'm just doing regular driving. So the temperature for the Dodson heated sump is regulated. And you can see here that the EX is at 65 at 10 minutes. All right guys, I've just gone for a good hard run. So we're now at 13 minutes 45 and the transmission temp for EX is 71 degrees. Dodson heated sump is showing 83 degrees. So consistently there's been a 10 degree difference between uh, these two values here. Um, I um, uh, think that's a good thing. So you at least have a, a rough idea of the difference between the two for your own setup not many people have the Dodson heated sump um, so in that case then um, you can take what you want from that um, I would probably suggest that 
if you are wanting to know if the transmission temp at 70 is um, uh, decently accurate and, and safe enough for you to floor. If you're wanting a third party independent um, sort of um, test to sort of verify that, well there you go. So I would say that when this setup uh, for EX is cold, it's relying on the hybrid ambient temperature sensor and so I would definitely not look at accelerating hard uh, on the car until you're up around about 70 degrees on this transmission temp. That would roughly have been 80 on my Dodson. So I don't normally run till 75 and 75 on here was approximately 65 on the Advanced DX. Um, I would then just like to show you something very interesting about this setup. So in here, if you go to digital display, and you'll see in here that there are some clutch temperatures. So quite obviously this is incorrect, but it's another thing for you to take into consideration when you're wanting to know exactly how these developers are coming or deriving to these numbers. As you can see here, clutch one temperature is showing 266 degrees Celsius. That's definitely not Fahrenheit, that's Celsius. And clutch two is showing 239. There was definitely more clutches than two in that box, let me tell you. So, um, you might say, well, I'm not going to display that information. Well, why wouldn't you display that information if you're saying that this information's just been pulled from the PID? So if this is just reading data that's coming from the TCM, then I would suggest that this information here is not accurate and it clearly is uh, some sort of coding or algorithm or just modified data that the app developer has used to suggest that um, they've derived at this number. It's clearly wrong. So um, as you saw, this setting was set for what they call Lancer 8 SST. So there's no such thing as an Evo 8 with an SST. There's no such thing as a Lancer 8. Um, whether that means 2008, uh, which which would be correct then, but it just says eight. So they're saying these are the predefined sets and that these values should be correct for this sort of transmission for this sort of car. I would recommend that you don't use or take any notice of the um, temperature, the slip speed, you may want to read that information for whatever wank value you've got. It will be of absolutely no importance to you. So, just to show you again, I'm almost at 18 minutes and it's at 74 degrees and the Dodson Sump's at 82. All right guys, so I hope you've enjoyed that video. If, you've, uh, uh, if you're not following me at the moment, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You're of Juzzy Evo X. Have a great day.